this is yours. You're the captain, you're the master, you're the foreman, you're the general, you're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. If you want to be successful and you want to be happy, those are the two things that's common to most, most people. You're looking at a person who was neither one of those for a long period in my life, man. It's a lot of a lot of pain in my life. No more than nobody else, I just had a lot. But I learned along the way, everything that's happening to you is God is processing you. Every difficult moment you're having, he just processing you. That's all he's doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough, when you get to where you're going, then he gonna toughen you. If you gotta be more caring along the way, he gonna let you have some trials come your way that's gonna have to produce that in you. What happened in my life was, getting where I've gotten to today and where I'm even headed to, I had to be tough. So he toughened me along the way. I had to learn how to appreciate a lot, so he took everything. To really understand the value of money, I had none. To just appreciate simple things, what I'm gonna eat today, where I'm gonna wash up at, where I'm gonna bathe. He sent me through a trial of being homeless for three years. I lived in a car for three years. All of that, that I was going through, that I was tripping with, that I did not appreciate or understand, I understand it now because I'm on the other side of them troubles. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. It's not God picks certain people he'll make rich and certain people he don't. He gives all of us as his children the power of choice. You have a say-so in that. You can decide to be rich. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of y'all. I'm not a better person than you. I'm not a better Christian than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. If you want to be successful, you have to change this. This has to change. Listen to me. It's not what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is, though, it's very doable. See, if but you got to change, though. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your coworkers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. It's two people born in a hospital every day. It's a person that's born in a hospital that's gonna get a job, and somebody born in a hospital that's gonna give them a job. You get to decide which one you're gonna be. You get to decide. Let me show you this. We all live inside a bubble, right? This is our world. We go to church here, we work over here, we go get our coffee over here, we go to this park over here, we usually go over here to, you know, hang out with friends. This is our favorite club. This is our world. This is our favorite spot on the beach. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. 
it is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. I love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, that ain't, that ain't happening. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. You put extra on top of extra, uh, on ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says, he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody, especially the devil. Do not let Satan come in here and function and operate because he has one mission to keep you off course, to make you not think it's possible, to make you think that God don't hear you. His job is only to destroy you, to make sure that you don't become what God intended for you to become. That's the mission.